What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are going camera down today. Uh, I look like a dumpster fire of a human being. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, was, I just want to film this video so I'm going to do it camera down. Um, I still, of course, have my coffee which is very close to the camera. <laughs> But I definitely wanted to get this. The ink looks so strange in this pen right now under this lighting. I have Sailor 224 uh, in here. And it looks like neon green, like alien blood or something. That is so odd, but I absolutely love it. <laughs> um, so what are we looking at today? Well, if you have ever looked at a narwhal pen before, then that may look familiar. Uh, I'm going to open up my notebook here. So in the pen, I have Sailor 224. Uh, I believe that it is known as Thunderfluff, thanks to uh, Drew Brown, oh my goodness, from Goulet Pens. Uh, and the pen itself is from Galen Leather. It is their Narwhal X fountain pen with rose gold finishings, and it is a medium nib. Price-wise, $75 Canadian, $59 US. Uh, I did look at the pricing of Narwhal, um, their original model, which I do have a full review of uh, up on my channel, um, and it is priced at $50 USD. Now there's some sales uh, that are going on actually right now, um, so this isn't too far off of the regular price because uh, sometimes special editions or limited editions uh, can can definitely get up there uh, so um, as far as the regular body goes this definitely feels nice and solid I like that a lot uh, it does remind me a little bit of the way that Twisby's build feels uh, which is really cool uh, because they are built phenomenally um, I have used a narwhal before like i said the review is up and running uh, it's also a medium nib that i used then uh, which i really liked uh, and spoiler i really like this one too <laughs> so let's start with the cap that i just dropped the top of the pen hello is just a blank finial it's all rose gold trim uh, the clip itself is also rose gold despite the way that it looks you cannot press the back end to raise the clip. Uh, you do have to function it like a normal clip and it's very stiff. It's quite hard actually. <laughs> Sorry for the sniff. It does hurt a little bit. Um, and the whole inner cap is clear. Obviously like the rest of the pen. And the rest of <clears throat> the pen itself is clear as well. Uh, now where the cap meets the body of the pen, there is a, another rose gold band that says narwhal twice with a dot separating them and the threads are very very smooth like very shallow you do not feel them at all uh, and they do thread quite nicely I do wish they were a little more clear but I know with friction that's hard to do then you come to the body of the pen uh, which you can see it is stamped in Galen Leather Co. Uh, the nice thing about this uh, versus other uh, stamps that they've done, um, special editions that they've done, is you cannot really see it. So I'm going to bust out one of my Cavecos here. So one of the Cavecos they have, like that is a super prominent. Now this is a Caveco thing, they want it to be this super prominent. Uh, whereas I guess Narwhal doesn't have that same specification, um, but you can't really see the Galen leather very easily unless you're looking for it. I like that quite a bit. Uh, and then you come into the actual piston mechanism itself, which again is rose gold, uh, and the entire thing is a demo, uh, which is quite nice. Um, I like the rose gold demo version uh, much better than like a silver or a gold. I'm not really a gold person all that much, so I like the rose gold. The grip section itself uh, does taper down a little bit, um, but it's kind of difficult to show you, but it does have a pretty severe flare out 
so your fingertips will not slip past. And it is very, very comfortable to hold. I'm gonna try and lift up my tripod here. It's very comfortable to hold. It's got a nice weight to it uh, that sits right in the crook of my hand. Uh, and I, I like that quite a bit. Uh, I do not post this pen. It is a very long pen. Um, you can if you want to, but it just becomes unwieldy <sighs> if you do that. So I don't recommend it. Uh, let's bust out some paper here. Oopsies, I hit the camera. <laughs> All right, so this paper, by the way, is also from Galen Leather. Uh, they're not sponsoring this, by the way. Um, I was sent this pen for free for the purpose of review, but I'm not being paid for it. Um, this is Tomoe River Notebook, uh, 52 GSM. Um, so just so you know what I'm writing on. And let's uncap this bad boy. And my camera never focuses right off the bat. There we go. And yes, I know a lot of you are tired of the quick brown fox. But we all do it anyways. <laughs> uh, so like I said, the ink for today is Sailor 224 and the nib on this beautiful rose gold narwhal X from Galen Leather is a steel medium. All right, as far as wetness goes, certainly wet. <laughs> Uh, and I like that very, very much. I mean, you can see just how wet that is. Line variation, you're not gonna get any. It is quite a stiff nib and it is a typical ball. There's no variation to it. Uh, reverse. You can certainly reverse right to like an extra fine uh, and it's quite nice actually. Now for some fast writing, I've never had any issues whatsoever, except when I rotate the pen too much. <laughs> uh, if you've never checked out this ink, by the way, highly recommend. Uh, because this is a wet writer, uh, it doesn't show the crazy variation you can get like this did when I smeared it, uh, but I like it quite a bit. It's a bit expensive but it's totally different than pretty much anything I have, so I like it a lot. Um, do I recommend? I don't think I know how to spell recommend. Apparently, <laughs> I need to go back to elementary school. Uh, the answer is yes. Yes, I do. Uh, do I recommend specifically this version? Um, it doesn't have to be. Do I think that this version is very nice and I actually like the look of this better than the original one? Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, the original one is very like uh, wavy, like very brightly patterned. There's blue, yellow, pinks, uh, lots more colors. This one is a little more muted uh, as far as presentation goes, but with the rose gold and the demo still offers something to pop. Uh, and I like the fact that this is clear and I can see my ink sloshing around. I don't have too many uh, demos, so I like that this is in the collection. Um, so I do recommend that you check out Galen Leather uh, for this pen specifically, um, but if you do not like the look of this one, uh, then definitely check out any Narwhal pen because the other review I did, I quite enjoyed that experience as well. And I really like that they put their own logo on the nib. It's very nice. So, what do you think? 
Do you like the look of this pen? Have you ever used a Narwhal pen before? Did you like it? Uh, would you recommend it to other people? Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you liked it a lot but haven't done so already, do hit the subscribe button. New videos come out every Monday and Friday uh, and the occasional bonus content on Tuesday. Uh, check out the description for my Instagram, Patreon, and uh, Discord server. And as always, if you're still watching this far in, you're the reason why I make these videos. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, my beautiful patrons. Thank you all for your support. If you have recently supported me uh, as a VIP patron or above uh, and don't see your name, don't fear. This was recorded February 26th, so it will be there as soon as I can get it updated. So we have our ultimate human is Daniel Roddy. And for my VIP fans, we've got Elizabeth, Glenn Kelly, Joan Worthman, Brian Hunter, Aaron C., Luna Wolf Games, Bobby A. Bailey, Stuart Riley, Ute Cruiser, Victor Portugal, Bass, Weili Chang, Brian La, Lucas Bell, Aubrey Madcor, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, Stephen Baldwin, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Sean Sturdy, Susan Barrier, Catherine Molina, Robert Myers, Bianca Andrews, Bill Pemberton, Jennifer Galfi, Karen Epstein, Lucy Peralta, Gretchen Peters, and DigitalTent.Tech. Uh, for those who are not VIP tier or above, it does not matter. I still appreciate that you're here uh, and that you make all of the difference. I appreciate you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.